All right. <clears throat> Jeffrey and Maintenance Guy here again. Um, this is our boiler room for one of our wings of our building. Uh, there's the gas fire furnace boiler right here. Um, the uh, way this is put together, it's a pretty intricate system here. It goes over to what's called a mixing valve. Some of y'all might have seen this in your building too. If you're a maintenance guy like I was. This thing is really touchy and it is uh, a pain in the butt. But you have to clean this thing every month they say with vinegar. Uh, this little pipe right here is the return turn pipe which then also branches off back into the cold water um, so I guess to warm the cold water going into these tanks so it doesn't have to heat I don't know it's weird uh, this system is very strange and everything and um, I'll tell you right now these do not work these are supposed to be some kind of like water softener it takes the mineral out minerals out of water so it's not hard water um circulatory pump which circulates the hot water through the building a bunch of filters and light bulbs and whatever we need in this wing of the building uh phone rack uh this where you go to patch in the phones so, this goes back to our main phone room. I just thought I'd give you a little tour. And this is cable. And I actually wired this. Um, Comcast came in here and just slung this crap everywhere. It was just hanging here. So, I rewired it and grounded everything like it's supposed to be. So, um... Anyway, basically how this system works is we got these huge tanks holding the hot water. Comes over here, and I guess this is more energy efficient or whatever. Somebody's using the water right now, as you can see, it's temperature goes down when, when this thing's mixing. Um, basically, your hot water from your tanks come into here. Cold comes into here. It's mixed together and goes up at a set temperature. Ours is, we try to keep it as close to 115 as we can. Um, by uh, our policy, we're not allowed to go over 115. By city's policy, you're not allowed to go over 120. So, our state regulations is 120 for residential water. Um, we keep two of these on hand so we don't have any downtime. So the other one's in the box here. Let's look and see what it looks like. So basically this just when you turn a screw it mixes the hot water through these little baffles. Um, these are like 800 bucks a piece so so I'm ready to get, we got a backup, but it's worth it. It doesn't kill any of our downtime. So. But that's a tour, a little tour of uh, stuff over here in this building. Um, uh, this is a green aquatherm pipe. This is not PVC. It's actually, it is melted together. Um, it's called aquatherm. Something like fifteen dollars a foot for this three inch, two and a half inch one. Huh? So, yep. So this has been a uh, small little tour and show you how the heating system works over here. All right, this is Jeff the maintenance guy. Y'all have fun.